Donald Trump today lashing out and flatly denying new accusations that he groped, fondled and kissed women without their permission. Steve Handelsman is at the Capitol with more as Trump is firing back at the accusers. Steve. Good evening. Trump today said he knew this kind of a crisis would happen and it hurts him and his family, he said. But he said it's all fiction. No doubt I love this land. Defiance in Florida. Donald Trump charged the new sexual allegations against him are a media campaign of lies. These vicious claims about me of inappropriate conduct with women are totally and absolutely false. Most Trump supporters are not abandoning him. It's not about personalities. It doesn't matter. There's more important topics right now. The New York Times broke the accusations. Octopus. Jessica That's Leeds charging so decades ago in a plane, stuff. Trump put his hand up her skirt. Total fabrication, Trump tweeted. A People magazine reporter is charging Trump grabbed and kissed her in 2005, and this from a former Miss Utah. I remember him coming out, and the first thing he did was just smile and give me a warm embrace with another kiss. And I remember immediately thinking, what does he think this is? Michelle Obama said enough is enough and said it's not political. Democrat, Republican, independent, no woman deserves to be treated this way, not for another minute and let alone for four years. Hillary Clinton is weathering her own crisis. WikiLeaks of emails, one revealing her campaign saw Latinos as needy. But she brushed off the Trump charge that her team concocted the new accusations. When they go low, we go high. 26 days till the vote. Today's NBC News Wall Street Journal Marist poll finds Clinton ahead by four now in battleground North Carolina. Pollsters reporting Trump seems to be on track to lose this election. From Washington, Steve Handelsman, Local 4. All right, Steve, vice presidential candidate, by the way, Tim Kaine and his wife, Ann Holton, are going to be in Michigan next week for a campaign event. Uh, the Virginia senator and his wife will be stopping in Detroit Tuesday, October 18th. No word yet on where the event will take place, but we keep you posted as we learn more.